Hi class, this is Marshall Sponder, your uh, lecturer for uh, web analytics and web intelligence, and we're going to cover Adobe Analytics in this section, this uh, video. I evoke uh, Amateur by doing sc.amateur.com, and that brings me to what we currently have now, which is a login. Your username <clears throat> will be assigned to you probably in the first, by the first or second week of the course. Uh, I have my password all in here. That's great. Uh, it's usually Omni123 in lowercase. <clears throat> and we're always pretty much uh, going to be seeing something like this when we start. When you first get uh, your permissions, you'll be asked to uh, like check off a permissions form. So you'll do that first. <clears throat> and this is where you're going to see your reports. Now I have something I think that was set up here. This is always the reporting suite you're going to be working with. JJ Esquire, OAI, uh, JJ Esquire, Baruch, AAI. This has got current data. These other two are old instances. They don't have updated data. And if you see a reference for me asking you to use them, ignore it and use this one and use current data. As you see, if you um, look at this, there's there's basically a very um a set of reports that you can run we'll we'll start with key metrics i think it's key metrics is the and that basically gives you now no i just want to say that this is actually for a um JJS Square OAI. So let me let me show you what this is based on. There's a site called JJS Square. It's not a real site. I think it's maintained by Adobe just for purposes of this course of the the of the training instance of Adobe Analytics. It doesn't really work. I think you can go one level down. Uh, it just shows you what the website that the analytics is based on is looks like but if you can you can you can't even really click on stuff I mean if you if you try to actually do anything here it's not actually gonna gonna work uh, you can click on a couple of links and go to the second level pages uh, you can't buy anything on this site um, but at least you can kind of see what they look to if you say <laughs> I like uh, uh, if you actually click on anything beyond uh, the third level, you might be able to get to something. If you try to actually add something to the cart, uh, uh, I don't think you can you can add anything to the cart. Uh, you can't put in a, a credit card. No, actually, let's see. Let's update cart. Um, and uh, I don't think you can do anything else. I think if you try to order something, like fragrances and I, don't, I think oh, so far it seems to be working if you try to actually do anything in the site map here it doesn't work but I, I think that uh, you can at least get an idea of what's on the site and this kind of works just to get you an idea but as you see if you actually try to do anything here or try to make anything work you'll find you won't be able to a lot of the reports have these kinds of uh, line readouts, uh, and in this case, you can um, see page views, visits, unique visitors. If I wanted to add something to a report, like another metric, most of the reports allow me to do that. Like if I want to add it orders to this, or um, I can do that. Up to, I think it's up to ten metrics, and then it'll 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 add this to the reports and I'll have the number of orders um, if I want to export this report I believe I can um, 
you can you can print the report I wouldn't recommend that you could link to this report uh, I believe you can export the report as well um, see what else they have up here um, yes download here and you can also create uh, a reportlet from this to add to a dashboard let's see what else we have here You can see a lot of, um, if you look at your navigation from your reports menu, oops, what do we get here? Yes. You can see all the different types of things you can run. And when you break down these reports, you can actually see sub reports, including some custom ones that we won't really get into. And these are your SVARs, EVARs, and so on are, are set up here custom conversions, segments type, many of your, um, well, let's see, for example, store zip code locator reports, uh, distance to store. If JJ Esquire had a lot of stores, I don't think they do. Um, well, there isn't anything defined um, for zip codes in this reporting, um, in this reporting suite. The, this is a reporting suite. These two are also reporting suites. This is like in Google Analytics. This would be an example of a profile, basically. So, um, yes. And if you bookmark this, this would be able to, I believe, uh, add to, a, well, yes, you could add this to a dashboard or you could create a new dashboard. Distance, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I don't seem to have a, do I have a new dashboard? I do have one called marketing. I'll just, uh, uh, I'll just uh, create new. And then I can add that to the dashboard. Um, there's a lot of reports in here. Um, and then there's also various other things that you can do. You could set up alerts and targets. Um, all of this keeps on changing. That's why I had a set of videos that were not um, uh, fully um, up to date with the new changes of the interface, and they've been changing this interface. But let's just bring up a report. The uh, pages report seems to be a good one. There's a sections report. In some cases, I ask you to do different reports, but the ideal thing for you to do would actually be to run every single report that you can run um, and try every single thing you can. I mean, that would be one of the things we cover in some of the reports is sub correlations and sub correlations. This is like a, um, a breakdown. You can break down a report. This is equivalent to Google Analytics at, um, uh, dimensions. You know, basically these are dimensions you can break a report down by. So um, you and then the, this is a thing called a correlation filter. And here you can actually create uh, very specialized reports. You can look at everything by say a specific mobile device or and you can add multiple ones. If you add a mobile device, select item and then you have to select an item and the item would be let's just say that. Let's take one that's popular. Um, uh, I, I don't know what we have in here that's popular. Uh, a Nokia. All right. Okay. So we have that. We have an item here. So we have a Nokia. We could have multiple items. And then let's say um, cities. Select item. You know, it's one thing for the interface to get used to the interface. And that's looking for city. And the question is, does it have it? Well, we'll just say Tokyo. You know. And then uh, select item. I'm not seeing that in here. I did this, that. So obviously it's a database. It's pulling data in. And it's going to give you, uh, well, OK. Where was it again? OK. OK. All right, okay, now it's appearing. So you can 
put a lot of different things here so you get exactly what you want and then you can do okay and see if it's got anything um, so that's like an advanced filtering option it may not have anything I'm, I'm suspecting it's probably not going to but um, that's a correlation filter not all reports in this case there isn't anything so um, uh, it, you know and I don't know that the correlation report is persistent from page to page I don't think it is we have pathings reports they look kind of clunky in a way but um, they, they serve their purpose uh, and you can change the number of branches and you can go both ways you can go forward or backwards so um, so this can be helpful for you to understand how your visitors are going especially if you had a segment so let's say we did um, want to do that uh, we can add segments here I believe components see where well I think I have to go back to a report where I can actually um, add segmentation but when you have report you can create a segment or add them so let's say we have a report here and now they've moved where segments are they, they used to be somewhere um, let's see where we have it so you see there's a segment here you can apply a segment and it will create one in a lot of cases it might be a segment that I'm asking you I've, I've defined a bunch of segments that I can see um, I can share these with whoever is um, added to our account I think I have one like that I ask for page visitors that view page more than three pages in a visit so these can be all right I mean that one is um, um, and some of them only apply to um, greater than a thousand dollars I forgot who's done that and some of you can apply segments too so if I apply this segment um, this tells you uh, what the segment is revenue is greater than 999 so I could say edit segment but I need to apply it as well so um, well this seems new actually instead of the segments being on the left now you get them here so like uh, here's where you would click on a segment so greater than a thousand dollars I would say okay and then that would apply the segment so a lot of times I get students asking me to do stuff that you know basically is it's just a matter of looking around and finding where these things are but periodically Adobe is going to move stuff around and change stuff around that's why I decided to just do a video instead of even keeping the old videos because it things had already changed a couple of times already in the last year or two and it just didn't seem to make point even keep the old videos anymore but if you want to create a new um, and then this will stay persistent I believe so um, what you're seeing here is no segments so there's no segmentation and then how many of the people spent more than a thousand um, dollars I think greater well there is it there's a couple so if we sort this um, by page views like those who where did did that where are things generating money you'll see that the quartz cr uh, chronograph watch is generating more money um, it's also doing a change from the last reporting period um, I, I didn't I guess that's just built into this report you can turn that off if you want um, to in order to have all of these um, pages named based on the products you had to create that kind of hierarchy and that's usually covered in an Adobe admin course that we're not going to do here but you can do the same thing in, in Google Analytics or any analytics platform um, although Google doesn't enforce that um, but Adobe does so you if you're not going to spend all the kind of money that Adobe uh, has on the report and also you can get this uh, to show more pages you can go up to 200 pages um, and get it to show all those pages which is usually enough for what one needs and you can export so I think I've covered that 
I often get a lot of questions about the actual making of of uh, stuff. Now, admin, by the way, I don't believe we've ever had admin access. I don't know, maybe that's changed uh, because I see that, uh, well, I don't see anything showing up, so that kind of says we don't have admin access because we can't really do anything. Uh, I don't see anything here. So you can't really affect anything about this. Uh, um, you, you do have various tools like Quick Map that uh, I don't know if that's functional. A lot of the tools here probably aren't functional. As you see, you can work through and see most of these are not functional for us because we have a training instance. So ad hoc analysis, I don't even think that's functional. But you can see one by one uh, that we don't really have that. This was a nice feature. We I think we originally did have this in this. Data Workbench, I believe... We don't have that either. Um, data warehouse. I don't know. It might have that. Um, no, no. So we don't really have. We don't have click map. We don't have activity map. Do we have that? We don't have activity map. I think. Uh, yes, you don't really have that either. Uh, report builder. I think we do have that. Uh, I think you can build a report. I think they'll let you do that. And this is an Excel down, uh, down plugin you can use. Uh, this would be good if you're taking a course with IBM Watson in it and you want to upload that. Although the, 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 the information is not formatted in the way that Watson likes, so you might not get anywhere with it. Search and promote we don't have. Um, and uh, recommendations, yeah, we don't have that. We don't have recommendations classic either. Um, so that uh, that tells you what we have, what we don't have. We only have the ability to run regular analytics on this JJ Esquire. And you can't take this um, and apply it to any other site. This is not like Google Analytics uh, where you could just apply for it. This is only dedicated to this training instance. So uh, the only thing I think I want to cover and then let you go is um, the uh, creating a segment. So we have some lessons later on in the course. If you want to create a new one, I guess this would be the way to do it. I'm going to add a new segment. Uh, I'm going to say Marshall's test segment. I've done one of these before. And as you see, you've got like by default, I'm I'm getting everything that's that's uh that's in the site. This is a little profile similar to Google Analytics. Um, I'm just gonna create. I'm gonna look for something simple like I can write a little description. This is just for documentation purposes. I'm not gonna bother with that. And I could add some tagging that I create just to if I had a lot of these. Like I say, I had like thousands of these, and I wanted to. And I cared about how I was creating them and being able to find them and apply them. Maybe these taggings would be valuable. But right now, I don't care. So definitions. And so I can drop and drag map. You know, I can I can take dimensions, like browser type. And, and then I can... Uh, this will give me the values that it's got. Let's say Nokia. I want to see just everything that's Nokia. And um, someone that's kind of... Uh, orders and orders equal to and then I could say nah, I could select here greater than fifty dollars uh, greater or equal whoops should be going up yeah okay that's it I don't want to do anything else uh, I'm not going to worry about this here. And I can see right now it's telling me I have nothing. Now there's three types. Visitor, visit, and hit. So let's say visitor. Maybe that will give us something. It's not really showing us anything. here. So we know that um, and visit. So we see we're not really getting anything over here. So that might mean that we're not going to... Right now this, this segment... 
isn't going to gonna give us anything. Browser type is is equal to Nokia, might not be so great. If we're just looking at orders greater than hmm. Well let's put that back in. Um let's put the browser type is equal to Nokia again. Uh or let's do Apple because we have Ah no see it didn't show anything. But uh browser type well let's do or and see if that makes any difference. Ah so we really we really didn't have anything, but if we have anything that's an OK or, 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 or orders, let's just say we're just creating a segment. We could save that. And then I can apply that segment. So when I do a report, when I go back and do my report, I have a test segment. And I can do my report with that. If I do pages, or even next page flow I can do that um, the pages here oh it still kept that so I can get rid of that um, you see I could reset this or I can add this or let's just add another one um, I mean, it doesn't seem like it wants to do more than two segments me and me but uh, I could uh, add another segment here and I can put my test segment in Marshall's test segment okay and then I can run that what's well, going to run it by itself so I don't really have to worry about that right so anything that's either Nokia or is a sale of over fifty dollars and it shows you it's not a very meaningful segment but you know we're starting somewhere you can see that you could create a segment I think the only other thing is if I want to make a dashboard out of this I want to um, I'm going to create this into my marketing report and then you see here's the marketing dashboard I can actually look at my marketing dashboard. It was a, you can create a dashboard. And it actually can be as big as you want. Ah. Actually, I can do this here. Okay, so I'm just going to add some of these in here. Because I'm not particularly concerned at this point. Um, ah. It looks like it's got the wrong... This dashboard was created for with the wrong instance, so I really want to use the group. And then it should show something. Uh, you see, it has to be the group one. Because this is current data. And, and the others do not. You see how you have to do that? So, because um, I created this a while back. You just do that with all of these, and you can get what you want. You can keep on adding them down. So this is your reportlet, and so you can save this. You can save your changes. There's other report is there's something called targets we ask you to create, um, and usually in that assignment, I want you to kind of fill this out. Uh, uh, I have one here that I and many students have created them. Let's say create a new one, um, add new. So you'll create a metric and a target. So basically, um, when I say add new, it'll bring up a form. And usually I want a screenshot of the form that's filled out. Um, I'm not sure seeing where it is here that's coming up. Why is it coming up? It's just waiting. I suppose for um, Omniture to bring up the form. And here's the form. And basically, you fill it out with like a target name, right? 
Usually I leave it to entire site and I pick one of the metrics that from a report like card revenue, that's usually granularity. I don't even have to put the period. Well, I usually do need a period, let's say January to June. And then uh, basically, I don't think you have to put anything else here. You can ah, you have to put a, a value in. I believe that's right. Sorry about that. But let's look at some of the other other ones. Um, so some of the students have created. I think Amy created a daily revenue one. Um, I believe you can look at these, see what they've done. So a lot of the students have created their zones. But anyway, you can you can basically look at these. Um, I think I did one of these here. Let's see if I can um, open them up. But anyway, that's uh, that's what you need to do. So go in and create the targets. And if you need help, um, you can either search for stuff. You can go to the help what's new. Um, and you can look at the notes and you can the whole document release the whole release those everything you can find that you need is probably going to be in here so that's really all you really need everything else is going to be directed to you and i encourage you to go and look around um, for everything you can um, to try to um, just find out everything about what these tools do you know like be curious um, I usually let you have this for about another month after the course is over so you can play with it. And just remember, a lot of high-end jobs have Adobe Analytics in it. So you should really <clears throat> feel comfortable with this. And you can click on this stuff and you can play with this and really try to figure out how this information fits in with the rest of what you're learning at Baruch. I'm going to leave it at that because I really don't want to make super long videos. Cheers.